Hello and welcome to UE Quarters for you. So in this tutorial we will set up hang to move right and move left functionality to our character. As you can see my character moves right and left accordingly. And in the curved path like so my character also move left and right accordingly and the rotation of character is also set accordingly. So let's get started. So in our previous tutorial we have set up our HLK rig in Maya and changed the hanger animation like so. And in this video we will set up our hang to move right and move left functionality to our character. So for doing this I'm gonna open my character blueprint and create a new function. I'm gonna call it hang to move right like so. And next I'm gonna add two arrow components for my trace reference. One for trace right and one for trace left. I'm gonna select my mesh and add component arrow component. I'm gonna call it hand to move right underscore arrow like so. Now I'm gonna set its rotation and set its location. Z will be my 175 and in the x-axis I'm gonna move it to 30 minutes minus 30 units. Now I'm gonna duplicate this arrow and call this hang to move left arrow. I'm gonna move it to the 30 units in the x-axis like so. Now we have set up our both arrow components for trace references for hang to move right and hang to move left. Now I'm gonna open my hang to move right function and I'm gonna use a sphere trace by channel. So the start location will be my hang to move right arrow get world location and for the end location I'm gonna grab get world rotation of my arrow and get its forward vector multiply the forward vector with some constant value like 50 so this value will be my trace length you can change the value according to your need now I'm gonna add this result to my get call location and this will be my end location I'm gonna set the radius to 10 minutes and draw debug type to for one frame now let's call the function so I'm gonna call the function when I press D first I'm gonna check if my character is in hang mode or not if my character is in hanging position or not like so if can hang is true then I'm gonna set timer by function name I'm gonna copy my function name paste it over here like so and the time will be my 0 0.01 second and looping will be true and when I release the key I'm gonna clear the timer so here you can see 
when I press D key my trace is working and when I release the key the timer will stop now I'm gonna go to my hand to move right position and if the trace hit is valid I'm gonna use a new sphere trace so the first sphere trace will give me my x and y location and the second sphere trace will give me the z location for my character now I'm gonna break the first trace hit result and grab its impact point and add some constant in z like 20 units and I'm gonna subtract 25 units in the z axis so this is my start location and this will be my end location let's check this out so here you can see my both traces are working so this trace will be used for my x and y position in world space and this trace will be used for my z location in world space so now let's set the actor location accordingly now if my second trace is hit something then I'm gonna break the hit result and from true case I'm gonna set the actor location I'm gonna use vector inter for smoothly interpolate between two locations the current location will be my get actor location like so and the target location for this I'm gonna make a new vector and for the z axis I'm gonna grab my second trace impact point and break the vector and the z location will be my z and for the x and y location I'm gonna grab the impact point of my first sphere trace so here I'm gonna grab my impact point and break the vector and I'm gonna plug x and y into this then delta time will be my gap for delta seconds and the interval speed 5 now let's check this out this is not working because we haven't set the z location up properly so you can see my character mesh location is uh, minus 97 units in the z axis so I'm gonna so we need to subtract minus 90 in the z axis for properly set its z location now I'm gonna subtract minus 90 in the z axis now check the result here you can see my character is moving but the problem is my character moves inside the object so now let's fix this fix this issue so for fixing this issue I'm gonna grab the impact normal of my first sphere trace and I'm gonna use make rotation from x axis this will give me my this will give me rotation in the x axis so if 
this will be my if this will be my impact normal then this will be my this will also be my forward this will also be my rotation in x axis now i'm gonna grab the forward vector of my rotation and multiply multiply it with some constant like 30 now i'm gonna grab the back point of first sphere trace and add this to impact point i'm gonna split my struct pin move it over here like so and plug the x into x and y into y so now you can see my character properly moves in the right direction and when I move the object like so the character z location is also set properly here you can see that so now the next problem is we need to set the rotation for hang to move right you can see when i reach is the end position like here my trace didn't hit anything and the character stops so we need to rotate the character according to the object so for setting the rotation i'm gonna use set actor rotation and location both location is set and for rotation i'm gonna again use r inter for smoothly interpolating my character the current location will be my get actor rotation and the target rotation I'm gonna use make rotation for this delta time will be my delta time and the speed will be 5 so for the rotation I'm gonna I'm gonna use make rotation from x that we get from our first sphere trace and I'm gonna break the rotate break the rotation and in the yaw axis in the yaw I'm gonna subtract 180 units like so so now our rotation is also set let's check this out here you can see my character also rotates according to the object like so now let's duplicate all the functionality for our hand to move left functionality so for doing this i'm gonna duplicate my hand to move right function and call this hand to move left so the only thing i'm gonna change is the arrow here we will use hang to move left arrow and everything will be same so everything will probably be same now i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my set timer function for hang to move left for doing this i'm gonna use it with a keyboard I'm gonna duplicate all the functionality over here and when I press A if my character is in hanging position then I'm gonna call hang to move that function like so now let's check the result
here you can see my character moves accordingly when I press D my character moves right according to the proper object position and when I press A my character moves left according to the proper object position and rotation is also set accordingly so thanks for watching guys in the next tutorial we will add animations to our hand to move right and move left functionality so we will edit our animation using our hik control rig in maya and then we will use the same animations for hang to move right and move left